I told you I could help you. All you had to do was let me. That's all you had to do. <laughs> but none of you subscribed and you didn't pay what I was asking. As I filmed earlier, but that's okay. Because I've written several self-help self -help books. And all you have to do to find the way of salvation is follow me, follow me, follow me. Is this not a face you can trust? So I was sitting around with my son last night and some humor popped into our minds and in my head. It's regarding a serious situation. Serious. It's all about a greasy forehead. You see this forehead? It's the only forehead I got. So whether it's greasy or not is none of your concern. But let me tell you about telling me about telling you about. Here's what I'm telling you about right now. So that when I was a kid, my forehead was so greasy that I'd be playing hockey out in the backyard with all of my friends. And my mom would call me by WD-40. WD-40, get your little ass in here right now to get your supper. And all the kids thought it was cool that I had that nickname. Because I'd grease their ass. My forehead is so greasy, I'll wax the bearings on your Chrysler. Grease the axles and stop your neighbors complaining. That's how greasy my forehead is. You better respect the grease on my forehead, man. My forehead is so greasy. I put the price of barrels down to $46. Say hello to Bryce. <laughs> My forehead is so greasy. You could do your makeup in the reflection of my fucking face. My forehead is so greasy. You might want to hit me with the bare pan before the pie in a food fight. My forehead is so greasy, potatoes fear me. My forehead is so greasy, when it sink or swim, I buoy. My forehead is so greasy, I slide my son's baseball cap on comfortably. That's not funny, that's whack. But besides the fact, it's still greasy. You hear that? The grease has its advantages. My forehead! So greasy that my mom tried to slap me and spun around like a revolving door. She tried to slap me in the head. And I was blessed to have the gift of a greasy forehead, causing her hand to automatically slip off and spin in 360 degree circumferences and rotations. Yep. My forehead is so greasy. A jeweler hired me 
to slide stuck rings off of fingers. My forehead's so greasy. When I brush my teeth, I think every morning I'm in a house of mirrors. My forehead's so greasy, I feel like a turkey faced grease ball brushed by my mama at Thanksgiving. See it? Shine. My forehead is so greasy, if I was Popeye, I'd say olive oil. Psh, I should have been motherfucking olive oil. My forehead is so greasy, when I die, if you bury me, I'll self-mummify. If you cremate me, evacuate, because the place is going to blow the fuck up. My forehead is so greasy, your dog licked my face and had a heart attack. I'm sorry, Scruffy. I'm sorry. My forehead is so greasy, if I got kicked in the head and my attacker didn't get charged with assault, he'd get charged for a shoe shine. That's how greasy my forehead is. And I like it. I like it a lot. My forehead is so greasy that if I was a fighter in the UFC, my opponent could throw punches all rounds and I wouldn't need medical attention. For the grease on my head would be self-sealing acting as an auto Vaseline to stop the bleeding anyway. The gloves would just slip off and I wouldn't get cut. That's how greasy my forehead is. My forehead is so greasy it would make an ant call any happy. I know you're wondering why, why? It's because they would have struck it rich. They would run pipelines from my forehead to the back of my neck and set up rigs above my eyebrow right there and pump for oil. That's how greasy my forehead is. My forehead's so greasy, when I take a shower, the water would be futile in its attempt to clean my skin. The oil on my forehead would bounce and bead right off, making it futile in its attempt to cleanse the oil. That's how greasy it is. My forehead's so greasy that if I was lost at sea on an island, or in the forest, I would only have to stand and rotate my head left to right at 180 degrees to create a distress signal. The oil would reflect the light capturing the attention of sailors and pilots. There would be no need for SOS signals in the sand, no need for smoke signals, and you sure as hell wouldn't need a flare. Thanks to my greasy forehead. Bryce, did you inherit my greasy forehead? My forehead's so greasy that if I was still a smoker and tried to light up, I'd come out looking like a Tech 9 album cover. My greasy forehead would be as a kerosene lamp and my head would light up. That's how greasy my forehead is. My chest is so greasy. That when you look into it, you think you're in a museum. My forehead is so greasy. It's like a bottle of Pledge. If I got into a bar fight and my opponent slammed my head on the table, the waitress wouldn't expect any tips. 
That's how greasy my forehead is. It serves to my advantage. <laughs> my forehead is so greasy I would never need sunblock for the grease would be the equivalent of UV 300. 300. My forehead's so greasy I could open a massage parlor or a rub and tug and save money on the expenses of massage oil and lubricant. My forehead is so greasy the linebackers need face paint even in rain cancellations. My forehead's so greasy brown paper bags turn translucent upon contact. Grease. Grease. My forehead is so greasy I can turn a cast iron pan into Teflon. Sunny side up. And there you have it. I just wanted to share my gift with you. The gift of having a greasy forehead. Listen. You see how clean and crisp that is? That's just from the grease on my forehead. Cheers, Paul Windsor.